Buongiorno, I am Lichef, and this is Zany Zebra. We're here live from Australia, mate. Actually, Australia has no zebras. And we're here to teach you about unit fractions and non-unit fractions. So, let's delve into my kitchen. So, let, first of all, let's have a look at what makes up a fraction. Here we have a half. Now, if you remember, the top number is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. The denominator tells us how many equal groups we need to make. The numerator tells us how many groups you take or give away. So, here in my kitchen, we have my world-famous chocolate bar. Ah, oh, my chocolate makes me zanier than I already am. I don't think that's possible, Zany. So, we want one half of this chocolate bar. The denominator tells us we need two equal groups. So, we have to split the bar into two equal groups, like this. The numerator tells us how many of those groups I can eat or give to you, which is one. Now, we can also do this if we wanted one third of a pizza. Here goes any, try my world famous pizza. Oh, pizza. Thanks, mate. Lovely. So, we want one third of this pizza. So, look at the denominator, which is three. So that means we need to split this pizza into three equal groups. Like this. The numerator tells us how many slices of pizza we can eat, which is only one. So that means we can only eat one slice of pizza. Okay, Zany. Well, that part was simple. <laughs> <laughs> it can't get much simpler than that, mate. In order to make my world famous pizza, we're going to need a quarter of these objects. How do how would we do that, Zany? Easy, le chef. Well, we need one quarter of those sixteen objects. Well, the denominator in a quarter is four. This means we divide the 16 objects into 4 equal groups. Well, there we go, Mike. We have divided the 16 objects into four equal groups. So, how many of these four equal groups do we need? Well, the numerator is one, so we only need one group. And in that group, we have got four sweets. So, what is one quarter of 16 sweets? Four. Oh, well, thank you for helping me today in the kitchen, Zany. It's been a real pleasure working with you. Oh, that's all right, mate. It's been a real pleasure being allowed inside your world-famous kitchen. Oh, well, 
You don't know what, you're gonna have to come again another time, Zany. Oh, I thought you'd something better, mate. Couldn't we just have some of your world famous pizza? Me and the children out there? Uh, you can't have some of my world famous pizza, Zany, but I don't think the children on the other side of the screen will be able to get any pizza. Of course they will, mate. They can ask their teacher for some of it. We'll just send it to them. Uh, Zany, I think you're going to get the teacher in trouble. We won't have any pizza, sorry, children. They will! They will have pizza! They will!